It's the Full Force News Burst Extra, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic80. Could we be getting a classified dragonfly for the next G.I. Joe HasLab? Prepare to take the following news story with a huge handful of salt, but it would appear, based on some leaked information, that the next G.I. Joe classified HasLab could be the Dragonfly XH-1 assault copter. Now what do we know? So rumour has it that we only know about this information due to an external disgruntled contributor on the project. It should probably be clarified that the issue concerns payment between third parties outside of Hasbro, with one of said parties leaking the information out of spite. With that said, it's difficult to confirm the information of course at this stage, so as long as you're aware of that, you can make your own decision regarding the validity of the intel. The part that is actually more interesting to us is in regards to the HasLab itself. So the dragonfly in question is said to be 3 feet long and 10.5 inches in height. It will come with Wild Bill and Airborne, as well as a flight stand if all tiers are unlocked of course. Now I for one am well up for this. The dragonfly as a vehicle is hugely iconic as well as Wild Bill and Airborne, and I would love a classified version of them all. They could go one of two ways with Wild Bill, vintage figure accurate or more sunbow styled. I could easily see them getting a repaint out of the figure down the road, so either would be fine with me for the actual HasLab. Airborne is another great figure to include in the line and works perfectly with the original card art as the co-pilot of this beautiful vehicle. If they approach this campaign in the same way that they did the Hiss tank, I could see this being just as popular. The Hiss is probably more identifiable and well known, but the Dragonfly could be just as fun in the features department. It already looks like a flight stand is included, which I imagine would operate in a similar way to the Sky Striker stand with the option to affix missiles etc. I would expect a working mechanism to be included for the rotor blades, a large and varied weapons loadout which could also end up being another tier, not to mention just how cool they could make the cockpit interior. Yes, this is something I would personally love, but what about you guys? Do you believe that this is the next HasLab? Are you on board with the vehicle and the included figures? Will you have any space left after the Hiss tank delivers? Let me know in the comments below. Ok, we will be discussing this and any other stories that occur this week on the next weekly episode on Saturday. We have lots more awesome content heading your way in the next few days, so keep it locked, stay fresh cheese bags, and as always, full force. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst Extra. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos, and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force, and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page, so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos, or enjoy exclusive bonus content, then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force